My name is Austin. I'm the founder of AdBlend. We make ad creatives that scale for direct consumer brands on Meta. Today, I'm going to be going over the ad styles that will allow you to scale your brand on Facebook ads. I'm going to be giving you styles and different trends that you need to be trying on your ads. And let's start it up. So basically, number one. So the number one thing I think everyone needs to be trying is the random things that wish a new center. The TikTok trends that you typically will see in your newsfeed. Trying the internet's favorite blank. Trying the viral TikTok blank. Whatever it is. Best Amazon finds part five. I have four play pulled up on the other tab. And with a bunch of examples, we'll go through them and I'll explain how you can apply them to your ads and we'll take a look. Let's go. Random things I wish I knew about sooner, coffee edition. I was seeing this coffee concentrate from Javi everywhere on my free page. So I just had to give it a try. Very simple explainer. So this is a very simple explainer. It starts with the headline of random things I wish I knew sooner. I wish I knew about sooner. And it's just pouring the coffee into a smoothie, whatever it is, sound on, interesting. You don't have to use that. But two things here, random things I wish I knew about sooner. I'm assuming because they are running this multiple times in different ways, this is definitely working. Random things I wish I knew about, I knew about sooner. Trying this viral TikTok trend that, you know, you could say the same thing for coffee. Trying the viral TikTok coffee. Why this TikTok coffee is taking over the internet. Try these different headlines and different concepts angles for your ads and I'm sure it will definitely boost performance. The second style they need to be trying is the natural style. There's more to dive into with this. It's the approach, the natural interaction, and the not overly produced video. You're seeing this a lot on TikTok. A lot of people are making this organically, not much edits. It seems like anyone pretty much produced this or make this on an iPhone. We'll take a look at some examples here. So the first one is the Daniel Max style. I think this is incredible. A lot of people are trying this. I know this ad was working for cuts for a while. Let's take a look. Yo man, sick car. What do you do for a living? Crypto was a little <laughs> nice man. Sales. Sales? Word. Yo, long well, out there by the way. Where'd you get that shirt? Thanks, bro. Yeah. It's hilarious because there's no way that Range Rover is a stick, obviously. Um sick car. What do you do? What do you do for a living? This can be used for probably any brand. I've seen High Smile do this as well. They approach the guy in the Aston Martin, very catchy car. They ask him, you know, what do you do for a living? Do you have a few minutes? And then he does the teeth whitening very quickly. And it's like a two minute ad, but it just does, you know, interact. It starts with interaction. What do you do for a living? And then explains the entire product. You can definitely do this for a lot of products. And then you don't have to actually have the person come out of the car. I don't know why they did that, honestly, because it doesn't look like a real ballet. Crypto was like. <laughs> but... Sorry with the joke. I like the approach. Looks pretty good. The next style or the next brand that's crushing this is Oats Overnight. A lot of their ads are going against the traditional format of, you know, ads produced, even just the usual style, UGC style. It's more of interaction with your friend and then also using insane uh, trending videos that have millions of views like this one. This one is very well done. How much do you pay for rent in Los Angeles? <laughs> Too much, dude. Can I see your place? Sure. I love the natural light. What's the uh, square footage on this place? So this is what I want to show you. So he doesn't even show him the apartment. It just starts off with the trending style of, let's see your apartment. How much do you pay for rent? The typical Caleb Simpson, I believe is the creator. What, I mean, it just, he just approaches people on the street. says, what do you do in New York? How much do you pay for rent? Can we see your place? Same thing here, except they get sidetracked and show them the product. They just start pitching the product right after the ad starts. Let's see how many seconds in. Five seconds he gets to the apartment, so it keeps the attention right there. And I mean, it kind of intros the frog a little late, but it's not bad. I, I would assume this is also working because everything they do seems to be crushing. But they probably should have started the oats, the intro of the oats overnight a little bit sooner. But style definitely can be replicated, and I think this probably crushes. Another style. We got sick of paying ridiculous prices for movie theater concessions, so we snuck in our own food. We needed something easy to hide, so we started bringing in our favorite. I think this is probably working better than the apartment review or the, the apartment tour because this is showing the product immediately and it's like you're seeking something in it feels like you shouldn't be doing this we never spend money at movie theater concessions everyone can agree or relate to this and then goes right into the explainer ridiculous prices for movie theater concessions so we snuck in our own full so, at the end of the movie oats overnight is high in protein and it I like how they go back and forth here. So they're showing product in the actual movie theater. Then they're showing the explainer in the car. And then they're showing, you know, B-roll of the website. And then they're going back to the movie theater. I love the B-roll when it's still in that location. Very well done. Pretty serious. We're at the end of this. But off, the meal start as low as 263 for your first order. Look, this is our little secret, but we wanted to yeah. let y'all know too. You don't have to take my order. Really solid B-roll. Here's another one from Oath of Renai. I know there's a, maybe two examples from them, but I just think these natural styles are fully key to unlocking some scale. Y'all have 
a sibling that's constantly trying to one-up you, that's my older brother. Not only has he started running more, but he switched up his breakfast to this high-protein oatmeal shake. He's been loving the convenience and flavors of Yeah, I don't know about this one, honestly. I don't know about, I don't know why I saved this one. It's not bad. It's a pretty decent intro, but I probably would have lost interest. But still, the natural style, definitely worth testing. I think the, the movie theater one is probably the best. Here's another natural style that you can just film in the car, and it goes along with the trending TikTok style. The headline that, you know, will capture your attention because it's a hack adulting hack. Everyone wants to see adulting things and when someone films in the car just 10 times more catchier. I don't know exactly why. I don't understand the psychology behind it but it is very catchy. Let's watch. All the renters out there. So I know we're all feeling the pain of rent hikes but I found a way to earn rewards just by paying rent with this rewards program called Built. The rewards are insane. I've already redeemed mine for a night at a fancy hotel. You can even use your points towards your rent. Don't miss out on this. Start earning rewards from your pick. I think the catchiest part about this is the car. Other than that, there's no B-roll. There's nothing else going on. But PSA mixed with adulting hack. Very good intro. Very good hook. I think you could say PSA for anything. You could use that for any brand. You could use that for JV Coffee as well. You know, PSA to my coffee drinkers. Why I stopped, you know, why, how I ditched my $7 coffee in the morning. Whatever it is, adulting hack as well. Stop spending so much money on coffee. You can use these two lines for pretty much every brand. Let's go back to the sheet here. So a third style that I think a lot of brands are doing recently is the podcast slash founder story. A lot of the founders are now doing ads. They're doing either a green screen explainer or they're doing a podcast where either it's a real podcast or it's a fake podcast and they're just filming themselves with that podcast mic either talking to somebody or talking to no one and it looks like they are and they just explain the product, explain how they founded the company. Let's take a look at some examples. Poppy is the first one and I think they're using also a TikTok style and it's very well done. Let's watch. Okay, put a finger down if you created Poppy in your kitchen. So like a ton of different health problems and you started drinking apple cider vinegar and hated the taste of straight vinegar so you created poppy and um it changed your life so then you went on to the show shark tank and you got a deal on the show shark tank and then you launched it in march of 2020 to the masses and became number one selling soda on amazon you launched in every major retailer across the nation killing it you have the most amazing community that any brand could ever very well done she didn't even put the figure down yet because it's a very long put a figure down explanation but everyone knows this trend everyone can relate to this and it's a very recognizable style as soon as you see this put a figure down you're probably going to watch to see what she says because usually on tiktok they're a bit aggressive or provocative so you want to watch them and see what people are talking about this is very well done also done by the founder you know i I'm, i would assume this is working next one founder story green screen over the articles where she's featured this is hard to compete with because if you don't have the press you obviously can't do it but this is very well well done, let's watch. Also with the microphone shows authority. Five years ago, I did something crazy. I started my own company while I was getting my MBA from UC Berkeley. Here's how I went from product creation, getting my product into grocery stores, and selling on Amazon. First things first, I just love matcha. I knew from experience that making matcha at home wasn't always the easiest process. I had this aha moment where I realized that food service, think cafes and restaurants, could use liquid matcha in order to make a more efficient matcha latte. And since I was in school, I was spending all of my time outside of class working with food scientists and trying to find a- I mean, I want to keep watching this. A minute and a half. Yeah, I mean, this is very well done. Even if you can get factory footage, I'm pretty certain that works. Dr. Squatch, I think, is running the same video of them cutting the soap in the factory as a winning ad. Factory footage mixed with articles from a founder and then her backstory. I mean, how do you beat this? And then the microphone for authority. It's got to be crushing. Well, let's watch one more. There's a natural style going back to point two. This isn't a founder story, but because for some reason, this hostage tape it is the founder. The hostage tape one is not working right now. I'm not really sure why that is, but he's explaining why the hostage tape worked for him. It was burnt out. Now he can sleep so much better. You know, nose breathing is much better than mouth breathing, and it's his founder story. So that's another one. Going to take a look at that. But here's another natural style that you can also apply. Tip for telling your friend anything. Tip for telling your friend they smell the Dr. Squatch at. Subtle way to tell your friend that they need deodorant. I recommend Dr. Squatch, by the way. All natural. Love them. <clears throat> hey, did you know you smell like very short, funny, honestly not bad, pretty impressive. So if you wanna you know, take a screenshot of this, these are styles that can definitely help you scale your Facebook ads. Try to apply these styles, take a look at Facebook ad library, I mean, go in four place, search a bunch of different words that you're thinking of, you know, founder story, you can type in anything, you know, adulting hack, whatever, you know, keywords I spoke about here, you can definitely type them into four play for ideas. Try these styles, test the natural style, and I'm sure you'll boost performance. I'm gonna keep making videos. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. You know, like, comment, subscribe. I'll keep making more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks.